What does homeschooling look like? No, seriously. What does homeschooling look like? And if you're interested in seeing that, you clicked on the right thumbnail because we're going to do a lesson with me, Homeschool History Edition. You see, we use TruthQuest, which is a Charlotte Mason styled homeschool curriculum that relies heavily on real books. But thanks to modern technology, we also rely on YouTube and Google. Hey Google, when did Hawaii become a state? Hawaii was granted statehood on the 21st of August 1959. 59, that was close. Instead of showing you just one day of history lesson, I've decided to show you a week. And no, th this video is not two and a half hours long. However, at the end of the video, if you stay for our last history lesson, it's going to be raw, unedited, full of drama, sacrifice, torture, explosions. No, it's not that bad. But it will be truthful and I will insert some tips in there, so you gotta stay around for that. My name is Leilani and this is our channel Living With Eve. And if you're interested in learning about what our channel has to offer you, go ahead and click on our channel trailer up in the right hand corner. And if you like what you see, consider subscribing. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so whenever we upload, you can get notified through YouTube. So let's get started in our history lesson, learning about Hawaii before it became a state. So this week in history, we're gonna be doing chapter nine, which is about Aloha, and because it is kind of short, I am probably gonna, at the end of the week, talk about immigrants. I want to see if the library has any of these books that I can check out. So I'm gonna spend some time getting those on hold right now. So we're gonna get started this morning. What I've done is I went ahead and photocopied all the worksheets on Hawaii, and we're gonna do some of them today. We are going to label, introduce Hawaii, and then we actually have these ingredients, so we're gonna make this little recipe for a snack. All right, so first guys, what do you know about Hawaii? Uh, that it's a state. <laughs> My mom's friend on YouTube is there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's like a bazillion volcanoes. <laughs> a bazillion, okay, well maybe not a bazillion. Miss Naomi, what do you know about Hawaii? They laugh in Hawaii? So let's get started. I have some maps, and I want to see if you guys can find Hawaii. Miss Hannah is working on just coloring and listening as we go through this, right? Mapping skills is a big part of history and geography. Hands-on exploration is a must. Do not be afraid to allow them to explore, struggle, get lost. It builds their character. And you may even be surprised at some of the things they already know. Do you know what that place is? Wow. Hey, you know what? We're gonna learn how to use a glossary. Oh, no! I can't, I can't even read this. This is a little advanced. All right, so I'm gonna look for Hawaii, which is an H. Now, if you feel like they need help, don't hesitate. Go for it. Trust your gut. You're their mom. They always learn from you best. Ah, uh, there's Hawaii. The Maui does look like a body. A head and a body. I want you to try and work together and label all of those things. Well, that's going to be easy because Maui. Well, great. So you got one down. Now it's time to have your kids quietly work. If you can, get it. And you can get it. It is possible. I'm going to take this opportunity to go change my daughter and get her dressed for the day, but the boys still have to cut out and color. So they got stuff to do that they don't need my help with. The only reason I'm able to do this is because I actually have these items on hand. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's still, we've got pineapple and banana and coconut milk and Ooh. sugar. Ooh. Three, two, one, hit it in Nikki! Oh my gosh. <laughs> By the way, this is also a collaboration with some other homeschool moms, and if you are interested in seeing some of their videos of homeschooling with them, go ahead down in the description box and click on their links. There will also be a playlist. 
We're on day two of our American history curriculum and today we're gonna focus in on some Polynesian culture. I haven't had a chance to get to the library to pick up the books and I really don't think they're all there. So we're gonna utilize some YouTube and we're gonna utilize some encyclopedias on the internet to fill out this. Okay, so where's Bob? Ford. Please. Try to say this word. I don't see anything. Say Papa New Guinea. Papa New Guinea? How come that sounds so familiar? Because that's the name of an island. Papua New Guinea? Uh-huh. F-I-J-I. Fiji. Fiji! Like the Fiji Newtons. No. <laughs> that's wrong. Okay, I'm just gonna read about the history. Besides using this opportunity to talk about my family with the kids, I'm also gonna teach them some Polynesian words. Hawaiian words. I found some on YouTube because I don't speak Hawaiian. I just put coconut. Coconut is C-O-C-O-N-U-T. We're doing spelling too, apparently. What kind of food, when you watch the videos, what kind of food did they have? Pineapple. Pineapple pig, what else? Okay, let's staple these together, okay guys? So today is day three, and we're gonna be going to the library to go ahead and check out those books that we put on hold. So we just got back from the library and I am super excited about this book. It's the only one I could find about the Polynesian culture and it looks like it's a really good read. I think it's fictional, so. Got some on immigration too. For immigrants too, it'll be pretty cool. For the rest of day three and even day four, I decided to read. Now, the book that we read was called The Treasure Chest by Anne Hood, and I'll be honest, I wasn't too impressed with the book. It was one of those typical time traveling books, very slow to start, and in my opinion, it took up until chapter seven to really get moving. And there was also some opinions that were expressed that I wasn't really particularly fond of because of my beliefs. Now, on a positive note, it was jam-packed with history and cultural references. So today is the last day that we're gonna be doing the state, it's not a state yet, <laughs> of Hawaii, the history of the Polynesian culture in Hawaii. And I'm gonna do something a little bit different than I usually do with our video footage is I'm going to do a live, non-cut, non-edited, us doing this assignment right here. But first, let me suggest two of our other videos that you may be interested in seeing. The first one is about the curriculum Truth Quest itself. It is a review on this curriculum that's gonna show you how to use it, some flip throughs, and what we do with it as a family. The second one is a really cool salt dough relief map that we made as a family on the Civil War. This was an activity that was inspired by this curriculum, so I will put both of those cards. If you didn't already see one of them, you'll see this one in the upper right hand corner, and I will also place these links at the end screen. We have been reading this book. We are more than halfway done. I'm not thrilled about this book, but it is the story about Queen Lili Liliu Kalani. And today's lesson, it's the last one, we are gonna do a little cutout worksheet about her. So I'm gonna show them a short six minute video on YouTube. I did watch it last night, so I know that it's appropriate and it's really short. I like to keep it short for the kids because their attention span, you know. I am gonna request that the kids each think of a fact that we can write down on the worksheet as they watch the video. And I'm also gonna ask them what they know about Queen Liliu Kalani. I think that's important to do at the beginning of every single lesson because that gives you an idea as a parent or a teacher to know where to start and it kinda of tells you where to go. So if you like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you like our content so you can journey with us because your child's exceptional too. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you see a lesson, our last lesson on Queen Lily Kulani right now. All right, we've been reading this book. What have you learned about the Queen? Not yet, we're gonna listen. What have you guys learned about this book, Queen Lily Kulani? I learned that they walked on lava. They walked on lava, what else? Because it was cold, remember? It was cold, and then when it got hotter, they were jumping, they were doing the hop. Do you remember that one? I know, but, they, but it was like very hot, like real lava. Well, stuff. it wasn't the very, very hot lava yet, because it cooled off a little bit. You know you can. Like the, the very hot lava that you see coming out of the volcano? No, not that hot lava. It was the cooler lava. So it was cooler, but it was still hot. That's why they were running. Isaac, what's something that you learned from this book? 
about cleaning the other uniform. No, we're about halfway done. Oh, we're more than halfway done. Well, what's something that you learned so far? They don't believe in God. They don't believe in God. They believe in many gods. That's right. Ethan, what have you learned about it? You can't think of anything else? Can you think of anything else, Ethan? Ethan, um, what, what's, what country are they in? Hawaii. Obviously. Ethan, what country are they in? Hawaii. And what kind of rulers do they have there? God. Kings and queens. Kings and queens. Okay, I have a video, so we're learning about, in this book, we are learning about how old is she? No, she's not three. She's like 27. No, she's a kid still. How about she looks 27? Can I see? Okay, we'll have to go back and find out. She might be a teenager. I want to see how long she is. Wait. <laughs> Using pictures. Yeah. Using pictures for context. Something mommy needs to learn too. She's, and it's okay to admit if you're wrong. So I could be wrong. Um, she could be in her 20s. You know what? That's something you need to look at. But she's not queen yet, is she? Yes. Is she queen in this book? No, no not yet. She is going to be queen, but not right now. Right. But she doesn't know that yet. Right now, she thinks that her older sister is going to be queen. But she is. Right. Well, now I'm going to show you a video of her in real life when she was queen. Really? All right. So what I'm doing is I'm listening to the video and mentally thinking up some questions to ask. So right here, what was her name when she was born? Her name was... That's in the book that you guys read. You know? Lily Kalani. Wasn't it just Lily you? And then they gave her the name Lydia, the Americans did. Well, that's her Hawaiian name. That was her birth name. So her name is Lilia Kalani. So go ahead and write that down. Lily Hey, Ethan, honey. Mom, get it. Lily Lulalani. Ethan. Okay, so when was she born? Do you know? Hey Google, when was Queen Liliuokalani born? Liliuokalani was born on September 2nd, 1838. Alright, so down where it says rain, what are three things that you learned about her when she was queen? So, Hannah, did you pay attention to the movie at all? Did you learn anything about Queen Liliuokalani? Is there anything else? Anything yeah, else? Everybody was she? she oh, okay. Like Uncle John. Aww. Well, let's yeah, talk about dies. that. Everybody dies. Everybody in the world dies. Yes. So what happened during her life? She was a queen. She was a queen. She was not a queen yet, but then she turned into a queen. That's right. She became queen. Um. In, of what country? Of Hawaii. Okay. So, what else did she like? What was her hobby? Do you guys remember her hobby? Yeah. Get your foot off the table. What was her hobby? Do you remember her hobby? Uh, she used to write something. Wait, first, let me know. Let me make a guess. Okay, she already did. What Ethan, you do you know? know what her hobby was? Yes. What was it? What was it? Oh, Isaac's writing it down. He's ahead of you. Music. She wrote music. So write that down. Music. M U S I C. It's a weird word. It's like okay. muse. How do you spell music? So mu uh, uh, It's mommy, like ma sick without the K at the end. Ma sick. So think M U and then you figure out the rest. How do you spell music? Uh, uh. 
Okay, there's no E at the end. So mu, mu, ma, su, su, su. And you know what? I love the fact that you put a capital W. Because it's the beginning of a sentence. How do you spell music? So ma, a, a. I'm helping you. What's the next one? So this is what a history lesson looks like. As you can see, it's far from perfect, but nothing ever is. Um, but hopefully the kids retain the information. I'll probably have them go back through their binders and talk to me about it later on during the month or week or so, but yeah, it was fun. And that's it, thank you guys for watching. And like I said, this is not typical for us to do anything like this. I usually try to make it nice, clean, and edited for you, but yeah, this was not clean. So thank you guys for watching, and we hope you have fun homeschooling.